two videos, I'm going to go through a method called grep. And grep is a very powerful method in Ruby. It's used for being able to uh, to search through different arrays, collections, anything like that. And I want to start off by showing you how powerful it can be in a real life application. So I'm going to, uh, I have the dev camp actual app open right now. And I'm going to say rake routes. And you don't have to worry what this means. All it's going to do is it's going to bring up all of the potential routes in the application. And you'll see it takes a second and it's going to give us quite a few. In fact, it's going to give us probably well over a hundred or more than that. So scrolling through, you can see these are all of the different routes. Now say I only wanted the routes for testimonials. I can see them right here, but look at all the wasted ones it pulls up if I really only wanted that one set of routes. So what grep can do is let you search through that and filter it down very quickly. So I can do rake routes, add the pipe, and then say grep testimonial hit return, it's going to do the same thing, but now it's going to apply this filtering and you can see that it filtered it down very nicely. So now it only brought up things where it found the word testimonial inside of that element. So what exactly is grep doing? If I open up an IRB session, I'm going to show you. So let's say that I have an array and this array is has a bunch of numbers. Okay. And now I'm going to say R grep and I want it to find the integer one. Now if we look here we can see that I put one integer one here and another one here. So what grep's gonna do is it's gonna iterate through the array, search through it, and then it's gonna return another array with those two elements. So if I hit that, you can see it returned an array showing one and one. Now, what would happen if I did 100? You can see it simply returns an empty array. It doesn't return an error or anything like that. So this is a really nice, elegant way of searching through collections. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how it can actually combine other tasks that usually would take a lot longer and require quite a bit more code. And I'm going to show you how you can use grep to make those searches more efficient.